This is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. Here's a quick tip if you ever want to shade alternate rows on your sheet so it looks more inviting and easier to read for your users. So let's have a look at what I mean. So you can see in this sheet I've got alternative rows and they're highlighted and this happens automatically. So if I'm going to add in a new row here, let me just put in a new row and you can see automatically the colors have gone down and I'm going to add another one and again let me just save well in fact let me just I need to put some data in here just to get it to work properly there we go and I'm going to save it and you can see the color coding has happened automatically so how's this happening well it's using a special formula which is the is even formula and it is in this column here so is even row number at row so let's just break this down so you know how this is working. So a couple of things here. What you need is you do need to have a row number column. And I've done a separate video on that bit. And let me just show you the formula in here again so you can see. So zooming in. So you have a row ID column. And based on that, it's looking at that and it's telling the relative position on a sheet in the row number. Once you've got that in place, then you simply need to add in this formula here. So let me just come out of this. I'm going to break it down and I'm going to convert to cell formula and I'm going to delete it all. So let's go down and clear contents. So you can see what happens. So oop, I go to clear contents. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in that formula, which equals is, is even. And all I'm trying to do is to look at the row number next to it. So it's using a row number at row. I press enter and hey presto, this one is even. If I now turn it to a column formula, hey presto, they're all there. Then what you can do is you can hide these columns because you don't need them to be visible to anyone. Hide column and you've got a much more useful sheet um, on that bit. So let me delete these items out as well because they don't need to be there. So. Off we go and automatically, hey presto, you've got a sheet which can be much more useful. And if, for example, you download it into Excel, then this is what it looks like automatically. So in terms of the other side, what I've done is by having that checkbox here, so let me just come and unhide all columns again. I've got this checkbox. The way it works to make the colors goes back to is, is if even is checked, apply this format to the entire row. So let me just demonstrate to you. I'm going to put make all odd numbers. So I'm going to go to if even is unchecked, I'm going to make all these items, let's just say orange. So let's just go back to this color. I'm going to make them all orange and that is even more colorful. So there you go. Probably don't want that sheet to be looking like that for too long. It's doing my eyes no favors on that bit, but I hope that's been useful and it shows you how can you make your sheets more colorful and easier to navigate if you don't use orange. So hope that's been useful. More tips to follow. Thanks for watching. Rich Goals at Productive Project Solutions. Bye for now.